you today. Uh, the title of today's webinar is uh, Why the ABS Live Training Workshop is Essential for Success in Medical Billing. And uh, uh, Patrick's going to interview Bonnie Preston, our, one of our lead instructors there for our week. So uh, just get back, kick back, get ready, and, and get ready with some of your questions here today. So you might want to be ready to start uh, uh, getting ready to uh, uh, input your questions there, and we'll go through those a little bit later on in the webinar. Uh, you see up here in our uh, next slide that we've got up here is a couple of things of just showing you where you can type in some of your questions. You see that little arrow down there, uh, this one right here is showing you this is where you can type in your questions, and then uh, it's kind of open and closes your panel up there. Then, uh, But as we're right here, I also want to make sure that you're hearing us okay. So if you'll see that little icon of your hand in your, your little screen there, click on that hand there so that I make sure that uh, you can hear me all right so let's see okay Valerie uh, Patricia good to see you Glenn uh, Christy so good we've got a good group coming in and uh, listen I'm not going to spend any much more time on that uh, I really do want to get involved and get uh, Bonnie up here with Patrick again my name is Eric OJ I'm the director of research and development we've got uh, lots of great new things happening for our licensees and uh, for the year 2013 Real quickly, I'm going to just share with you who American Business Systems is. Uh, a lot of people are brand new on today's webinar. So we have a medical billing platform, medical billing business opportunity that can be run by just about anybody from whatever location that you may be in because it's all, all web-based system. And we'll certainly get into a little bit more about that uh, later on in the webinar or if you haven't already. Talk to your ABS rep, coach there, and they'll explain a little bit better to you. And uh, he maybe even show you a demo of the system. But we are a little bit unique in, in that function that we've got a web-based system that's both practice management and electronic medical records. If you haven't already gone out to our website, our website is absystems.com. We certainly encourage you to go out there. On our web page in and of itself, there is a ton of information on there, a lot about, about who we are, about our business package, you certainly want to click on that to see what all you get in our business package here. And this other button here where it says income potential, certainly you want to be able to click on that and that kind of at least give you an idea of what you could make with at least just one doctor, doing the billing for one doctor. But for more information, you see these orange buttons up here where it says request more info and get started here. And that will get you over to what's called our virtual brochure. And we certainly want to encourage you to get to the virtual brochure because for those that are doing serious due diligence, this is where you're going to be able to find a lot more information. There's videos, there's information about the opportunity, how we assist you in getting clients, all the marketing pieces as we're showing you right here is all there and explained in our virtual brochure. So uh, if you haven't even gone through a lot of that, be sure to go back through it and get, on, and get through the whole virtual brochure there. Uh, ABS, American Business Systems, is a part of uh, a very large organization called the uh, Healthcare Billing and Management Association. Uh, this is where we keep up to date with a lot of information, uh, and we certainly encourage a lot of our licensees as they get through to join HBMA. But we're really considered the largest independent group of medical billers anyway at ABS, but we just like to show you some other resources that we're a part of. Uh, a lot of people ask us about ABS and, and the Better Business Bureau. And here we have, you can see here on our screen, that it, we have an A-plus rating right now with the, a, uh, with the BBB. So uh, that brings a lot of people a lot of comfort. So if you want to go check it out, please feel free to go do that. We also like to invite folks to come visit with us. We are located just north of Fort Worth in a community called Keller, Texas. Our address here is 5751 Kroger Drive and you see the zip there is 76244. Please, uh, if you're in the area, in Texas, surrounding areas, or would like to fly in before uh, the training to come visit with us, we certainly welcome you to do that. Uh, just get with one of your, your reps that you're dealing with and uh, schedule that. We have, talking about our workshop, our training, live training, uh, and it's going to be next week, and it's amazing that it's already upon us. And we have, uh, shown here, we have about five seats left open uh, for this training. So if you're looking seriously and want to get into this training, there is some opportunity. And Patrick will talk a little bit more about that uh, throughout the webinar today. Let me introduce you to our CEO, Patrick Phillips. He is an author and, and great speaker and has been on several TV shows and 
But uh, the three books that you're looking at right here that he's authored is How to Reprogram Yourself for Success. Uh, he co-authored a book here in the middle called Wake Up, Live the Life You Love. And then the one on the right, Cash Crunch, Cash Flow, is a book that he co-authored with a CPA, Brian Malatesta, talking really about the doctors and what their struggles are of getting collections in their office, so both from the patients and from the insurance companies. So it's a great marketing tool. So without any further ado, let me bring Patrick on today. Patrick, it's good to have you here this afternoon, and I know you're excited to talk with Bonnie today. And Patrick probably needs to hit his mute button. <laughs> <laughs> you figured me out, didn't you? I was just <laughs> rambling on there already. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Eric. Uh, yes, this is the week right before our live training workshop here in Dallas. We do this about once every six weeks or so, depending on how many people show up for it uh, and schedule for it. So uh, like Eric said, we have about five seats left in the classroom. It's a fairly small classroom, and so we like to keep it small because you'll see that we focus individually on licensees during that to really make sure that they get everything that they want to out of that. So without further ado, let's introduce Bonnie Preston. She is one of our ABS licensees and a certified business coach. Bonnie, you with us? Hi, and I have my mute button not on. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> We've done this enough to know uh, that uh, I'm going to do it every once in a while, accidentally, aren't I? Always. <laughs> I think we all do that, yes. Oh, thank you so much for having me on today. I'm so excited. Yeah, Bonnie, uh, I want them to know who you are. Uh, some of them probably have never heard of you, of course. Uh, usually we have people on here who are licensees that are coming to the training next week. And uh, by the way, I'm going to see if people, I'm going to lower everybody's hand here and let everybody raise their hand that, that is a current licensee. You've signed up. You're going to be here next week for the training. If you would click the little hand symbol over on the control panel there for GoToWebinar, uh, that will show me that you are actually in the class next week and uh, maybe we uh, even uh, you know call on you during this uh, w w webinar today so just raise your hand there I see one or two going up right now so good uh, we always have people that are on here and then we also have people uh, of course who are still looking at getting into medical billing and so uh, this webinar is for both believe me we're going to give lots of information out including this article uh, I just found this today uh, let's see today is the ninth though isn't it so that was yesterday and as you can see uh, the FCC put, is putting $400 million towards telemedicine capability. Mm. Well, I mean, that's good news for us, isn't it? That's fantastic news for us, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, now tell them what telemedicine is. Well, telemedicine is um, when doctors can actually treat patients remotely where they don't have to be in the office, they can get on something like a Skype or even a phone call or something like that. Um, maybe the patient's not able to come in or they, they live in the middle of the mountains and they can't get in. So this just increases the reach of the doctors exponentially. Yeah, and of course the doctor can charge for that, which means that you as a medical biller can bill for that. And that's a good thing. So it's, it's good for our licensees because our, our uh, web-based system, iClaim, uh, and EMRX, the Electronic Medical Records System that's uh, uh, associated with our system, it has that telemedicine already built into it. So guys, talk about cutting edge. We're right out there. Uh, sometimes I call it the bleeding edge, Monty, because <laughs> we, are, we are testing things out way ahead of most people. And uh, I guess that's a good thing. So, uh, Bonnie, tell them a little bit about yourself just so they kind of know, uh, you know, when did you find out about medical billing and what were you doing before that? Absolutely. Well, I'm Bonnie Preston, and I live in Denver, Colorado, a suburb of Denver, Colorado. And I found out about this opportunity, I would say, in January of 2008. Man, I can't believe it's been that long. Uh, almost five years. Almost yeah. five years. I yeah. know. Every time I have to count on my fingers, it's like, I can't <laughs> Eight, believe it's been nine, almost ten. five years. Yeah, I know. And I and I got to come to training in April of 2000, and what did we say, nine, eight? And um, took a, a week off of work. I was working a full-time job in, in corporate environment, 20-year um, career, in the um, information technology field. So, you know, I had to tell my boss I was taking off for a week to come to training. 
And um, boy, was it worth it. Um, it has literally just changed my life. So that's why I'm so excited to be here and at the training next week so I can help everybody else who really kind of wants to take their life to the next level and, and take charge of their own life. So, so basically, you had no background in medical billing or even the medical field at all, right, uh, at the time. Absolutely and, uh, not. I did not have any experience. So you ran across us, you came through the training, and uh, within a short amount of time, I remember you sending me that letter that you wrote to your boss, uh, the Dear John letter, that said, uh, adios, I'm out of here. <laughs> that, that's right. In fact, I actually wrote the letter the week I came home after training. And put a date on it, you know, yeah. put it like two or three months in advance. And every day I went to that job and would come home and look at that resignation letter. And, boy, that was motivating because it was like, you know, I have an answer here. And all I got to do is work it and see what they told me to do. And I'm going to be able to quit that job. And I got to quit the job. Yeah. Hey, do you recognize this picture? Can you see the picture on the screen now, Bonnie? I, I can, with my mouth wide open as always. <laughs> that was back in 2008. That's the class that you went through at the time. And uh, so, folks, uh, she has just grown from there. Uh, she's got, uh, I, I don't know, a dozen, uh, I don't know, maybe hundreds of doctors. <laughs> but anyway, she's built her business uh, to a full-time income, replace the income, obviously, that she had uh, when she uh, quit her job, and that was a six-figure income, wasn't it, Bonnie? It was a six, yeah, well over six figures. So I got to replace my income, walk away from corporate job, and haven't looked back, I'll tell you what. <laughs> and then, of course, at one point, uh, she uh, contacted me and said, look, I love what you're doing. I think I know the business well enough and have uh, the experience now out building my own business to be able to uh, – uh, come help you with the training. And so uh, here's a picture of her actually out there uh, training in the classroom there. As you can see, it's a fairly small room that we have there, very intimate. Uh, we bring in the laptops, by the way, uh, so that you can have real hands-on experience. Right, Bonnie? Right, right. You can see them there. We're um, actually in the iClaim system, and we're um, taking them through a little bit of hands-on exercise so everybody can feel very secure that, you know, it is a web-based system. There's nothing loaded on those laptops. We're using the Internet, and they walk away very comfortable with the system because if, they're, if you're like me, you got to kind of know about the system before you can go out there and talk about it. And that's one of our goals during the week is to get everybody comfortable with it, answer all the questions, and so they can go home and, and start building their business right away. Yeah, and, and by the way, we don't just teach you how to be a, a, a medical biller, folks. We cover what's called the, the entire revenue cycle that a doctor has. Inside the office, there are several uh, areas that bring in money for the doctor, and we help you to go in and solve those challenges that the doctor's having. Absolutely, because, you know, not every practice is the same, right, Patrick? So oh. they, every practice, you know, a practice could be in a different, in a different pain point, having different problems. That's and right. So, so you want to be able to have a whole a toolbox full of different ways to open the door to get in to speak to them. Sometimes it has nothing to do with the medical billing side. It may have to do with the coding or the electronic records or maybe even helping the patient money to come in. But at some point... Uh, when they do have a need for, you know, somebody to help out with the medical billing, which they all eventually do uh, because somebody either quits and finds another job or their software crashes, they lose their data, uh, at some point they're going to have a problem, and you're going to be there in the wings waiting to be able to jump in there and help them. And I think that's what makes us so different is we do have solutions for every part of the, of the doctor's practice. We're just not medical billers but we can solve all of the pain points that they have. Yeah. So let's jump right into it today, uh, Bonnie. I wanted to kind of cover as much as we can. I got a lot of material here, so folks, we're going to move ra rather quickly through this, but I want you to look over to the right side there on your screen to that control panel and be sure and look for the question box. This is your opportunity to ask Bonnie, who is a licensee, who's done the due diligence that you are doing now on us as a company and on this industry, 
who's been through our training, who's experienced our support department for the past five years, and uh, you can ask her any question you want. So think of her as just you know a medical biller that you've got a hold of here on the phone, and you want to ask her a question. Just type your question directly to her. Say Bonnie, blah 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 blah, and I'll read it out loud to her as they come in. So I'll be looking for that uh, que the questions on the board there as we go through this. Bonnie, let's talk about uh, the whole overview of the training itself. We we have quite a huge manual there, don't we, that we go through probably, what, I don't know, 200 pages of, of information that we, we hand out? We do have a huge manual, and, you know, people actually walk away. They take notes. Um, they mark it up. You know, this is for them to take home, and we've got – tons of information that we want to share with you. Like Patrick was saying, it's not just about the medical billing, but more importantly, how on earth do you go out there and go get clients? Because I yeah. think that's what makes this unique so special. Yeah, so that index that you just saw there to the manual, of course, had all of the topics that you see here. Now, I'm not going to be able to get to all of these today, but we're going to cover enough of this to where you have a real good feel as to what you're going to be getting as you go through that. So the first thing we go through the very first uh, of the first day, the first morning, uh, Monday morning, is an overview of the medical billing business. Uh, Bonnie, why don't you tell them a little bit about what we cover there? Absolutely. Well, the first thing we like to do is, you know, let's get the terminology set so we're all talking English to each other. Um, <laughs> right. Anything in a new industry, you know, there's a, there's a couple of acronyms that we go over. So we just make sure even if people have medical, have been in the medical field and know these words, we all level set. We all know these terms going forward because we're going to use them all week. Sure. And then we go through um, the steps, um, or also what I call the life cycle of a, of a claim. You know, what are the exact steps that a claim takes? You know, putting in the information and, and getting it back. So everybody that walks away from the training class knows exactly all the steps. Uh, there's only a couple of them, but you've got to know the life cycle of a claim. Um, what are the documents that we get from the doctor? You know, whose responsibility is it to give us the information? Like, for example, we're not making up the codes that actually go in. That's something that the doctor is responsible for. We're just getting it into the system. And finally, my favorite part is how do we get paid? Um, you know, hey, before you get to that, though, Bonnie, I, I stuck this slide in here because oh, okay. folks, people are always asking us, well, how do I get that information from the doctor? Do I have to go oh. by and pick it up? Does FedEx have to bring it to me? Do they fax it to me? Uh, we have a fantastic online web-based document management system, folks, that you'll actually see demonstrated to you right there live during the, web, uh, d during the workshop that we show you how you get all the documents from the doctor by them just scanning them into this online system. And then, of course, you go in, log in with the password and ID that you've been given to that doctor's account, and you get to see the documents that they just scanned in that day to you. So it's completely automated and it's completely paperless. Uh, it's the most high-tech thing you've ever seen in your life. Okay, back to getting paid now. That is important. <laughs> revolutionized my business you know that we are totally paperless so oh yeah i it, i didn't start out that way because <laughs> no it took uh, you a while didn't, didn't it? Have it five years ago no we didn't <laughs> <laughs> and that's the other great thing as you bring on new things um if it fits our business or or something that we can go out and market to our to the practices then you know patrick never sleeps so he's always looking mm. for new cool stuff there's always new, newer, cooler stuff out there. So. <laughs> so where was I? Getting paid, my favorite part. Absolutely. We show everybody exactly, you know, uh, best practices on getting the money from the doctor after our services are rendered. Yep. Okay, and then we jump right into putting your hands on the computer so you can learn what we call the iClean system. This is the practice management system that actually does the billing and how it ties in with our electronic medical records system. Bonnie, why don't you just tell them briefly what electronic medical records is all about and why they need to have that as a part of what they're offering to doctors. Absolutely. Well, electronic medical records, um, you know, there's quite a bit of a, a government incentive that's going on right now. Folks on the phone may or may not have heard about it. 
but the government is um, Medicare and, and the government agencies are really kind of pushing practices to get all of the records into an electronic system rather than having rows and rows and rows of charts. Um, so there you go on the screen. It's a perfect example. You know, they can capture pictures. Um, they can share information back and forth, capture all the x-rays. So the government really wants this um, uh, captured electronically so the information can be shared amongst different providers. So um, it's kind of what's driving the industry towards moving uh, towards electronic medical records. Here you go right here in class. We've got people um, looking at the different screens, uh, doing hands-on, showing how the electronic medical records which is really kind of the, the doctor's area of our system um, where they capture all of the information instead of writing it in a chart. Um, they just kind of point and click and it goes into our records and how that ties to the iClaim, which is the billing system. You talk about getting the information fast, right, Patrick? Yeah, it doesn't get any faster than real time, does it? Uh, the doctor puts it in and boom, it's just there available for any of his staff from any of their computers or uh, other devices like iPads and iPhones and things. They can see that information instantly because it's in real time. And of course, our electronic medical records is certified for meaningful use. Now, that's a term that means the doctors can get right now up to $39,000 back from the government. Uh, for getting involved in electronic medical records. You can show them how to uh, qualify for that money by using our electronic medical record system. So it's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty high tech, and uh, when you see it for the first time, it will blow you away. It, it blew me away, I'll tell you what. And I, you know, I have been in the industry a couple of years, but you know, I'm still amazed every time I get in there of how cool this system really is. Yeah. And the $39,000 back from the government as the incentive is really waking practices up to, to what are they doing and, and what can they do to improve their business. So, and, and if um, they don't get up to speed, Bonnie, in uh, what, about, I don't know, three or four years from now, they will actually be penalized for not having gotten involved in electronic medical record system of some kind. That's right. Wow. The government um, in their program uh, have got it that if they don't adopt a system in, by 2015, which is just a couple of years away, that Medicare and Medicaid and the government agencies are actually going to start taking money away and penalizing the doctors. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Bonnie, we got a question that came in here that's pretty pertinent. Uh, uh, Christy is asking, Bonnie, how many doctors do you have, and will this work for dentist offices? Hi, Christy. Great question. Um, it, will not work for dentists, okay? This is um, specifically designed for the medical profession, not the dental profession, okay? So yeah, that's right. Now, we have a web-based system that is available, but folks, we don't, we don't uh, push that at all. And uh, why is that, Bonnie? Well, because it's so easy. The, the, they don't outsource, you know, the dental billing at all. It's, it's not complicated. Yeah, and not only that, the dentists don't see as many patients as a doctor does. There's not as many dentists as there are doctors, and uh, there's not many people who have full dental insurance that covers it. So who wants to go to the dentist? Who? I, I don't. I, I don't go unless I just absolutely have to. Do you? <laughs> unless something's hurting, I ain't going. <laughs> Opportunity no, that's right. So we, we tell licensees like Bonnie, look, focus on the doctors. The, there's plenty of them out there. And uh, Bonnie, I don't know how many doctors you have total with all your uh, clinics and uh, so forth, but it's in the dozens, isn't it? Yeah, dozens, yeah. Had to stop and think and count. So that was, that was a great answer, dozens. Yeah. Well, you always, I know when I ask that question of a licensee, they always have to think about it because things are in progress. You're closing some right now, I know. And uh, it's hard to keep up with the exact number, isn't it? But it's uh, plenty to make you a, a, a nice income. Now let's get to the fun part. This is one of the things we cover in training that's real important, how to get clients. Bonnie, there's probably nothing more important in any business than how to get clients, right? That's the hardest part of any business. It is the hardest part, and as you know, Patrick, that's what I'm passionate about as well, is helping people get the clients. 
we can teach you all about your services and your systems and your marketing material. But it, you know, it doesn't do any good if you can't go out there and get clients. And that's where most businesses actually don't succeed. They, you know, they well, don't. Yeah. Oh, even even medical billers, people who've started their own medical billing company on their own, they don't they don't know that it's harder than they think to get clients. Now, it's not hard once you've figured it out, which we have over the last 19 years. Uh, but uh, let's talk about some of the ways that we do help them. Uh, let's start with direct mail and email marketing. That's one of the big things that we focus on. Tell them about the direct mail, for example. Well, direct mail is, you know, when you get things in the mail, folks. So um, what you have to do is kind of think about the lifetime value of a client. As, as, you, as you've learned, and you wouldn't be here, you know that this is the residual income. It comes in month after month after month after month after month. So you have to kind of add up what's the total value um, of the whole lifetime of having that, that client rather than, okay, you know, um, buying a car, right? You only buy a car what, once every 10 years. So we teach you that, it, that direct mail is a fantastic way to go get clients. And there's six essential uh, steps to getting direct mail opened and, and looked at. And where not to spend your money and where to spend a little money we show you how to find the list of doctors that you can mail it to and their home addresses, okay? We have got some websites where we can actually send stuff to the home. Well, why would we want to send it to the home? Well, guess who's at home, folks? The spouse or partner, right? Uh, you know, the doctor's working all day and you come home and, and, and the wife just happens to get this, this thing and say, uh, dear, we didn't get to go to Europe this year. I want you to call these folks. <laughs> That's right. They say that they can improve your revenue by 30%. So let's let's get with it here. That's right. <laughs> and one uh -huh. of the ways we do that is by using our pre-designed, professionally designed uh, series of postcards and greeting cards that can go out in the mail. So it's, a, it's an automated system that follows up for you uh, that will just uh, amaze you when you first see this. I know, and you've already got these all worked out for us, right, Patrick? I mean, these are in our um, automated system that we have, a different system, and you've already got the graphics uh, worked out. You've got all the phrases. All we got to do is get plugged in and start using what you got. Now, every once in a while, people will ask me, oh, well, what am I paying you this big license fee for? Well, folks, uh, one of the things was all of the money. I've spent over $100,000 developing just the marketing materials because you can't go out and just print something on your laser printer and take it out there to the doctor or mail it out and make it look like you're really a professional business. It has to look like you are much bigger than somebody who works out of their spare bedroom you know, in their bathroom, <laughs> which you may do, but uh, that's okay. Bonnie says she does it all the time. <laughs> Especially for doctors, right, Patrick? I mean, if you have a car wash business, sure, that might work, but yeah. not in, the, in this field, folks. Your marketing no. material has to be first class. Well, they're used to getting them. stuff from all the big uh, pharmaceutical reps and things, and they spent millions on that stuff. So, yeah, you've got to have something really slick and quality looking. Okay, let's talk about email marketing. Okay, email marketing is um, autoresponders means that it goes out on a regular scheduled period and that it's automatically done for you. You don't have to remember to, to follow up with, with the folks that, that you've been in contact. We, we give you tips for making sure that the emails actually get delivered because, you know, they got to get read, so they got to get delivered. Where to purchase these lists again and Really importantly, the words to avoid in the subjects and email uh, bodies, the bodies of the emails, to where the spam filters don't catch it and put it in the junk box. Okay, yeah, we've already that, got all that worked out for you. Yeah, that's a huge problem, and so we teach you how to do that. And uh, oh, hey, here's a question from uh, Patricia. She says, "What about chiropractors?" Hi, Patricia. Chiropractors are a great first client. They really, really are. Great first client, I, and I know some licensees um, out there that have built their whole business around chiropractors, so I would yeah. say yes. Oh, absolutely. That's a huge market, uh, and there's, boy, there's a whole bunch of them out there for, for sure. Uh, Patricia also says, with direct mail, how do I know I'm not sending to a doctor that another licensee is approaching already? Have you had that problem, Bonnie, in, in Denver there? There's some other licensees there, aren't there? 
Well, there are some other licensees here, and you know we've never marketed to the same doctors. Um, it, it's just never happened. I think there's about 40,000 doctors here in the Denver, just in the Denver area. So, you know, there's plenty for all here. Yeah, let's say you pick out uh, even 500 to mail to. That's a huge list. But if you picked out 500 out of that 40,000, the chances are that another licensee in your area has not sent that. And even if they have, folks, uh, it's repetition that sometimes makes people act. So a doctor gets one postcard maybe from some other licensee, and they don't act on it. But when you send the postcard, they go, oh, hey, I think I'll act on this now and to find out more about this. So it never hurts to have the more the merrier, believe me. We've never had a problem with that out there. Okay, I want to show you a picture of some of the neat uh, things that you can do. If you didn't know this was available, folks, we show you where to find hundreds of email templates. Now, a template is just a kind of a pre-laid out email that all you do is click and type in your company name and your information that you want to send out in that email, push a button, and boom, it goes out. Aren't those nice looking? Uh, you can even design uh, uh, newsletters. Uh, I think I've got a whole one showing here coming up in just a second. Yeah, so we show you how to use those newsletters to build your credibility and your expertise. You become the expert in your area sending this out. The doctors will remember you uh, when they think of wanting to you know, outsource their billing. So it's a great way. I got to move quickly here. I'm sorry, guys. We're we're running behind. So let's talk about trade shows and expos. Bonnie, what are trade shows? Trade shows are where we go, and uh, there's lots of people. It's a target market. They're coming to get information, buy systems, and you know we set up a booth here, um, and we get we gather information. Um, we get to talk to people one on one, face to face. Um, do we have a picture of the displays? Uh, yes, we do. We sure do. Let me talk about just for a second about some of the things we cover, though, uh, in the class. Folks, we tell you the purpose of trade shows. It's not what you think it is, probably. We also show you all the different types of trade shows that you would want to go to as uh, in this industry. The essentials that you must take with you when you go and actually do the, the actual trade show. Where to find the trade shows in your area? Yeah, there's trade shows being held right now in your city, I guarantee you, that you should be at next week. Uh, giveaways and where to find them and where to find the custom displays and of course we actually have a custom display that should come up here on the screen here in a second <laughs> there it is Ta -da! yeah Ta -da! there's bonnie uh bonnie there's Rody west she's uh the lady that answers the phone there in our office and she's posing there as vanna white <laughs> <laughs> From Wheel yep. of Fortune. Yeah, this is a big, uh, we, we spent over $5,000 for this display. They're very expensive if you have it done right. And as you can say, it's very professional looking. Here's a shot coming up of uh, a trade show that was done up uh, recently by one of our licensees. And there's our, our display in the back there. Oh, very and nice. And you just stand, yeah, you, know, you stand around. You've seen trade shows. You just stand around and you talk to the doctors when they walk up to you. Here's a, another licensee couple that uh, borrowed that from us and uh, took it to a trade show. So. Yeah, it's pretty common, and we'll show you how exactly how to do those trade shows, folks, if you've never done one. It's, in fact, there's one coming up uh, pretty quick here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that one of our licensees is going to uh, use that uh, display for. Okay, educational events. How do we help them with educate? What is an educational event? Well, an educational event is where you actually go to a group of people, um, you host, a seminar um, or a lunch and learn where people come to you and and uh, the providers will come, office managers will come and learn information. Again, you're setting yourself up as a subject matter expert and you know in the field. And because the people in the industry, the doctors and the office managers, they are so overwhelmed that they don't have time to learn this information. So you're, you're positioning yourself as a trusted advisor in the industry. I have people call me and say, hey, can you find this out for me? Absolutely. And eventually they turn into clients. So you make sure that it's not sales pitchy, you know, like land in Florida, <laughs> anybody right. from Florida, okay? But it truly is educational, and we're going to show you the difference and how to make it educational and not salesy. We have topics, uh, suggested topics for the event, and um, choosing a location. We know which locations to have the educational events in. Um, 
versus the ones that absolutely don't work, how you find other joint venture partners that will go in with you and, and help give you that credibility. Market to their people that they're already marketing. So you kind of, you know, expand your list of who you're marketing and how to get crowds to your event. Okay, so you hold an event, but actually getting the people in there, right? We're going to show you how to do that and some tools that we have learned the hard way that we want to share with you to just have the best success. Mommy, I happen to know that you've done some of these seminars and lunch and learns, and you've had both experiences. You've had small crowds and you've had large crowds, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, my first one I had one person show up. <laughs> <laughs> and you learn real fast from that how to do it the right way, don't you? <laughs> I did, and the, and the last one I did I had 65 doctors and office managers showed up. So we yeah. figured it out. We want to share it with you. Yep. And uh, here's a question from Sekar. Uh, they asked, do you have or collect a list of potential doctors to whom we can communicate? We actually have a way of actually showing people where to find those potential doctors out there, don't we? We do. Several ways, yes. Yeah, several ways. Okay, sorry, we're going to move fast here now, folks. Hey. Distributing educational materials. There are people, believe it or not, who like to go out and actually just leave some um, educational type materials with people. Let's tell them about some of those. Absolutely. Well, we have the Cash Crunch to Cash Flow book here written by Patrick Phillips. Thank you for doing that, Patrick. <laughs> it's actually a great um, uh, piece of marketing material to give out. Um, I kind of like to mark mine up a little bit, highlight some areas, put some of those sticky note tabs on the side. That way people will be more apt, to, you know, because if you give somebody a book and expect them to read it cover to cover, it's like, oh, I don't have time for that, and it gets laid aside on their desk. But you know those tabs? They're intriguing, and you just got to open it up, and we've just got some sections there that are highlighted. We're going to show you how to do that. So it makes the book even more intriguing than it absolutely is. Yeah, this is a, a real book, folks, that you can find in any major bookstore or just go on Amazon.com and type in the title there. Uh, it's a 176-page paperback book, sells for $14.95. You buy these as an ABS licensee from us for about $3 a piece. That's our printing cost for that book. Well, that's a pretty cheap uh, marketing tool, isn't it? Uh, and you put your name and address, of course, on the inside there and give it to the doctor as a gift, but it positions you, see, with third-party credibility that you wouldn't have otherwise. Then we also have uh, reprints of articles about why doctors should outsource their billing. Uh, you can personalize these for your own use as well. Uh, and then, of course, you have all of the professional flyers for all of our services that we've designed and printed for you, and they can be printed with your name and logo on those as well. Bonnie, you want to tell them about this DVD coming up here? Absolutely. So it's another great giveaway, and that is um, this DVD. And we, um, I don't know how you did that, Patrick, but uh, for those of you on the, on the phone who remember Hugh Downs, um, he is actually talking about why medical providers should outsource their billing. You know, well, you just paid $30,000, and he's <laughs> glad to do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you did that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And, and the benefits of outsourcing, again, folks, it gives you that third-party credibility. We're not out there tooting our own horn. We have somebody else that's helping us do that. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. And it's, I think there's six doctors on here that we actually got that are uh, clients of some of our licensees, but they don't mention, you know, the clients uh, don't mention the licensee name. Uh, there's nothing on here about our company. Folks, this is a marketing tool for you. It's printed and personalized with your name on the back of this case. So, again, with these cost you about $4 a piece to buy from us and a, a great marketing tool as well. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> giveaway, giveaway. <laughs> yeah, this is some of your favorite stuff to give out, isn't it? Goodies. It is some of my favorite stuff to give out. <laughs> Uh, and we show you where to find all these folks at wholesale prices, uh, some of the sources that we actually use. During the class, we actually hand out a lot of these types of items so that you have a feel for what should be given out uh, when you're out marketing. And, of course, they all have your name, your web address on there, great little tools to leave behind for, for doctors and office managers as well. Okay, now one of your favorites, I know, because you're the expert 
Aren't you known as the queen of networking in your area? I have been known as the queen of networking, yes. That's because she's actually written an entire book. Uh, it's a course, actually, with CDs and everything in it, isn't it, uh, on it the is. business networking? It is. So tell us what business networking is. Well, business networking is where you go to a professional um, event, and the whole purpose is where business owners come together to help each other build their business. Like at a Chamber of Commerce event. Most people have heard of Chamber Chamber of Commerce. And you can see here in the picture, people are introducing themselves. They're exchanging business cards. You look for a few people that you know you make a connection with that are going to be good joint ventures. We talked about that. And um, then you help each other. You get it by referral. So you could use this as your only marketing method. Okay. Yeah, some licensees have. Mm -hmm. This some, is all they do. I, that's all they do. I know um, I have, this has been <coughs> very successful for me. I know other licensees personally to use this only. So we teach you this. In fact, I teach this section because it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. and, and why does it work so well? Okay. Because we're teaching you how to share your information and not to sell. So anybody on the phone who likes to sell, this might not be a good section for you, okay? <laughs> right. Yeah, and most people don't like to sell, so this is a great way to market without ever thinking of yourself as a salesperson. <laughs> so, so anybody on the phone who's like, oh, I hate to sell, I don't think I can sell, take a deep breath, take a big sigh. It's like, whew, I can do this without selling because I don't like to sell either, folks. Where to go, I know the best watering holes, I know the best places to network, and I'm going to share my secrets with you, how to find them in your area, and how to develop that perfect 10-second and 30-second pitch. They grab people's attention. And also, what about the medical professional associations in your area? I got a great list for that, too. And that's where the doctors hang out. So we got this section nailed up. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, we've had lots of licensees say that this is the only thing they've ever used to, to do their marketing. Okay, follow-up methods. Very important, folks, that you learn uh, that once you've made some connections out there in any way, uh, that you have to do some proper follow-up, and we just happen to have figured out how to do that uh, automatically, haven't we, Bonnie? We have. Has anybody ever heard the term, the fortunes in the follow-up, right? Yeah. So, um, and you guys have, Patrick, you guys have done a brilliant job of doing this automatically. So we don't, as licensees, we don't have to think about it. We don't have to worry what goes out next to whom. You've got this all set up for us in this wonderful tool that we just put in the, the contacts names that we either buy or the, or the people that we meet, and it goes out automatically and follows up with them on a regular basis. Yeah, and when we say automatically, folks, it's a campaign. In other words, you put the person's name and address into our online web-based system, and these are actual cards. Now, not e-cards, but literally cards printed in full color, dropped in the mail to those prospects, and you can follow up with it, uh, somebody for an entire year for somewhere around you know, $12. Uh, I mean, it's very inexpensive follow-up, and it's so automated that you don't have to think about it, which is why most people don't do follow-up. Okay, now, what if we're not interested in doing any of this? Everything we just talked about, Bonnie, we don't, I hate all that. You hate all of that? Okay, I still got something for you. What about if we find some other people to go out there and market for you? Okay. Oh, I like that. You mean there's actually people who love to go out and sell? There are people who love to go out and sell, and they're called sales reps. But, you know, <laughs> they're just born that way. What can you say? You know, yeah. we probably got a few on the phone, so I don't want to step on any toes. But we teach you how to find them, how to how to conduct an interview, how to hire them, how to train them, how to pay them, how to motivate them, everything that you'd ever want to know about using other people to build your business. Yeah, so they're paid on a straight commission, right? You don't have to put out any money up front. Okay. Uh, we'll show you how to get them all trained and up to speed to show your products and services. Some of them love to do the lunch and learns, and some of them like to do the business networking. We, we teach you to teach them all of the things that we teach you. And uh, many of our licensees have been very successful having the sales reps go out, get the business, bring a signed contract back to them, and, of course, they give them 
uh, commissions on the setup fee, and of course, uh, an ongoing re residual income. That's what they like about it, isn't it, Bonnie? It is. That's what's attractive to the sales rep. Is you just sharing a little bit of that residual income that we talked about earlier? So they're yeah. looking for residual income too. Okay, in today's market, you can't be in business without having what? A website. That's right. So we have a whole section on uh, web marketing. And uh, as a part of your licensing fee to ABS, we include a professionally designed uh, website. We have dozens of templates with dozens of graphics that you can put on the front page, all professionally designed. They look good. They have the exact information that you need already on there and we personalize that of course with your company name your logo your contact information uh, we even have them designed so that you can uh, when people click a little button to get a free practice analysis we capture their uh, you know name and address and email and that type of thing so that you can follow up with those people so it's very very uh, specialized way of marketing and in today's world you just got to have it it's kind of like if you don't it's kind of like being a in the middle of Kansas with a little uh, card in the middle of a, you know, <laughs> cornfield. <laughs> now, there might be somebody from Kansas on the phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, they have a lot of corn up there, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Got to have a up. website. <laughs> got to have a website, and, and ABS has already done all the work for you folks. It's, it's lovely. Now, I'm not seeing any questions coming in here, and yet I see a whole bunch of people. In fact, there's people still showing up right now on the webinar, so they must have thought it was starting at uh, 4 o'clock uh, Central Time. Anyway, uh, you guys who – this is your chance to ask Bonnie a question directly. You can see that I'm actually asking every question that comes in here in the order in which they come in. Let's talk about referral marketing, Bonnie. What is that all about? Well, referral marketing is – and it's actually where we start in the marketing uh, section, and that is – all of us know about 250 people, okay? And we've got an exercise to actually help uh, the people who come to class figure out who those 250 are because you're saying to me, Bonnie, I can only think of 10. But we're going to help you create a list. And I'll tell you what, some of those people that you know, you're not going to market to them, okay? But they know a doctor. Yeah. You know, it could be your, their brother's, sister's, uncle's, nephew's, Son or their own doctor, yeah. <laughs> that 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 is a doctor. Okay, so we're going to show you how to start with the people that you already know, not selling. Oh no, no, that's right. No, 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 no. We don't use that four-letter word, do we? No, you're just explaining what you can do for the doctors, and we actually have a little uh, presentation that you could take to them on a laptop or an iPad or even your iPhone nowadays and show it to somebody step by step. It guides you right through all of our services that you want to talk about, and at the end, you just ask them if they know somebody who could benefit from your services. That's all. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, and we've got licensees who are only doing this method as well. Yeah, yeah. They love it because it's just a one-on-one -on -one meeting with somebody in a coffee shop, uh, and you're just talking to another human being. There's nothing to it. Uh, and, of course, you're not trying to sell them, so it takes all the pressure off. Okay, well, one of the things that people ask about, Bonnie, is what do I do if I'm not going in and selling anything to the doctor? Uh, how else could I you know, get involved with them? Absolutely. Well, you know, what we show you throughout the entire week and, and – what Patrick is doing now is, is we model that, and, and that is to be a consultant. We are here to show you how to be a consultant, how to go in there, and all you're doing is kind of asking the, the practice some questions, and you're going to go back and analyze it. So all you got to do is get them talking, folks, and they're going to tell you exactly what the pain points are. That's right. You, you, again, like Bonnie said earlier, you have nothing to sell. Folks, you, you don't have anything to sell, so you can't say that you're in sales. You're there to see if there's any pain in their revenue cycle. Just like when you go to see the doctor, they're going to poke you in the stomach and the back and the ear and the head to find out if there's any pain, right? That's what you're doing with this practice analysis that we'll teach you how to do. And by doing that, they're going to tell you where the pain is. And, man, if you've got the pain, we happen to have the aspirin for that, don't we? <laughs> or the Tylenol or the... I'd be proving it. <laughs> we have the web-based Tylenol. Yes, we do. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Okay, and then once you've done the practice analysis, you take that back to them with what's called a proposal. 
And that's a templated uh, document that we have already designed that you just plug in your name and information on it. And it's usually what? I don't know. What, what is it now? No, five or six pages at least usually, isn't it, Bonnie? Yep, about five or six pages, yeah. And you take that to them in a nice presentation folder that we already have pre-designed and printed. That's a part of your uh, you know, marketing supplies that you get from us. Very professional. Take that back to them. Explain to them what it's all about. And the last thing they say is, well, how do we get started? That's, that's right. Yeah. That's right. No selling involved. No. Oh. Oh, and this is my favorite part. Um, yeah, well, I, I thought demos. it was because you've done some of these, haven't you? Demos. I have done some of these. And so these are... The, you know, these are done for us, right? And we just get on the phone and um, a computer and with the provider and the system is shown. And I'll tell you what, after these demos, because of our system, um, they most often people go, how do I get started? I mean, it is amazing the numbers that we're seeing coming across now, Patrick. <clears throat> Yes, it is because, uh, folks, it's not you doing the demo. You're on there. Like, let's see that uh, the guy up in the upper, upper left hand corner there. Let's say that's you, that you're on the phone, you're with the doctor, but the demo is being done by us. Our technology people get on the, the, the it's kind of like a go to webinar, kind of like this technology we're using here. It's called a go to meeting. And we're actually presenting live what our system does for the doctor and the advantages of outsourcing their billing to you. So midway through this, in fact, Bonnie, the one word you hear most is what, as doctors are watching this demo? What, what do I got to do to get started? Yeah, they're, they're usually going, wow, uh, what do I do to get started? That's the last thing they ask usually in half of the cases. So, folks, this is a great tool. I don't know of any other company in America that's actually helping people to close deals by using technology like this. No other company will do this for you. This is very unique to American business systems, and it is fantastic because it's an online system that once you have uh, found a doctor who says they might be interested, you go online uh, to our online registration form for our licensees, and you fill in a little bit of information, and we set that up for you. Yeah, and that, that, that demonstration is done by our technology people. Okay, and then there's one optional section that we give in there, Bonnie. There is, and, and I was so glad that you guys had done this section for me when I, when I came through training. Um, I have a lot of uh, a business sense, but I had never really owned my own business before, and that's kind of why we make it optional, too. We've got some people that come through the class that have already owned their own business. So, yeah. um, but, like, for me, I had never owned my own business. So you, you guys sure to share with us, you know, the different kind of entities and, and what are the pros and cons of that and, and how, how to name a business, okay? I know, it, you know, everything's in the name, and it's got to be a, a, a good name, you know, and a, a business addresses and, and how to create a business card that will really get attention versus one that is just so overwhelming, nobody will look at it, and some of the tax advantages of having a business like this. We also go through some, some tools that you're going to need at home, um, some, some minor tools. It's not a major investment. If you've already got a computer, you're set, because all you need in this business is an Internet connection, I'll tell you what. So we go over all of this, so everybody kind of walks away with a great comfort of what it is they got to do to set up their business as soon as they get home. Yeah, and like it says, it's the basics, but it gives you a great start if you've never been in business. And then, of course, our support department, since you have unlimited lifetime support once you've joined us, uh, can answer any of your questions uh, that we don't cover. Now, here's a question from uh, Karen. She says, so do you, get, do, do you all get the clients for us or no? I'm confused. Karen, uh, you know, people have asked me that in the past, but there are uh, franchises out there that you can buy, and they will, you know, supposedly guarantee you a client. But believe me, they're they're usually a lot more than twenty five thousand dollars. You know, uh, I tell you what, for a hundred thousand dollars, I'll I'll guarantee that I'll get you a client. Uh, if if we had clients ready to sign up, then we would just be passing that out to our existing licensees. No, we're showing you today on the webinar that we're teaching you how to be your own boss, how to own your own company, and that means, of course, that you're going to have to generate your clients. But, folks, all you need is one doctor to make a fairly good income. Now, here's why I said I'd, I'd charge you $100,000 if I included the client, because 
the typical doctor could earn you how much, Bonnie? What would you say the average is? A doctor. Uh, one one doctor, anywhere from twenty five to thirty thousand a year. Yeah. So uh, what is that worth to you over a five year period? Well, more than a hundred thousand dollars, right? So that's why no, we don't include the the uh, licensees don't get clients, uh, but we will teach you exactly how to get them for yourself. Uh, we're going to teach you how to fish, not just give you a fish. <laughs> I was just thinking that it's like we're going to teach you teach them people how to fish, right? So they can yeah. go and get as many clients as they want. It's like I know one licensee; he signed up a practice that got two over two hundred providers. Yes, that's right. We do have licensees that are bringing in a, a seven-figure revenue, folks. Uh, that's a million dollars, and so this business can be worth a lot to you, a lot more than twenty-five thousand dollars for sure. Uh, Bonnie, I want to uh, get here just real quickly here to uh, what the experience in the classroom is actually like. Um, so, but first, let, let me while I'm getting to those slides, let me ask this question from Lisa. She says, "How did Bonnie get her first account?" And what kind was it? Oh, well, it's a good story, isn't it, Patrick? So yes, it you, is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I went home, and I'll tell it real quick. I went home, and, you know, I, I'm a smart lady. You know, I built large computer networks for a living, so I'm a smart lady. I went home, and I took everything that I learned from training, and I threw it in the trash and said, ha, huh, I know how to go get clients. Of course, I've never gotten a client in my life before ATS. That. That's yep. why Patrick's laughing. And then, you know, after about a three, four-month period, I called up support and said, hey, don't have a client yet. And they said, so what are you doing? And I said, I'm only doing this, this, and this. And they said, well, Bonnie, we didn't teach you that. Why don't you start doing what we <laughs> I'm laughing because you're not the only licensee we've heard that from, Bonnie. It, it happens more than you'd like to believe. Okay, what is the experience like? Well, the best way that I know to show you that is just to show you some pictures here. We do bring in guest speakers, other licensees besides Bonnie, who speak to us from time to time. Uh, we also have intimate uh, group sessions where we actually, this guy, for example, is one of our licensees showing uh, how the system works on an iPad. Um, we also have an attorney who comes in and speaks with you to tell you a little bit about how you can set your business up if you haven't already, uh, whether you need an LLC or a corporation or a partnership and so forth. Uh, we also do hands-on sessions with you licensees. You work together with other people in the classroom to actually work through some things and present that to the class. Uh, if you want to, it's all on a volunteer basis. And yes, even uh, yours truly is sometimes up in front uh, teaching because Bonnie can't keep me away. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, as you've seen on probably some of our YouTube videos, we always have give uh, licensees an opportunity to have their pictures taken uh, and to share what the training has meant with them. And some of them are very touching, folks. These are just some of the pictures uh, from some past trainings of people who've shared those testimonies with us. Okay, and if you want to see some of those, just go out to YouTube.com, put a slash YABS, and you'll be able to watch some of those videos of people out there uh, at the end of the training sessions. What happens after the workshop? It's real simple, folks. We give you a, a USB pin, as you can see, that actually has all of the slides that we cover. And gosh, Bonnie, what is there? Uh, hundreds of slides, right? I mean, we go through a lot of material in those five days. Yes, we do. <laughs> Yeah. So it's all it's all it's, it on the There's it's all in that little pin right there. We also give you a set of DVDs of a previous training uh, that was uh, taped that has all the same information that you can review and use it to train your people. Uh, and of course, there's ongoing training webinars. We're having one this Friday, by the way, Bonnie. Uh, this one's on how to give a, a live demo, how to set it up, and how to get clients using those live demos. So. We have lots of different topics we're covering for that, folks. And, of course, you also have lifetime support from us and our technology partners. There's over 100 people uh, on our support staff that can help you with phone, email, live chat, private website, forums, all kinds of stuff, folks. That is all covered on our website. If you haven't uh, asked your ABS rep about all those things, here's our toll-free number. Be sure and uh, ask them about that. And, and get signed up for this class next week. i got five seats open. Call us up and say, I want to be there. I'm convinced, and uh, we'll figure out a way for you to get here. Bonnie, thank you so much for being on here today. Thank you so much for having me. You know it's always my pleasure to, to come on these with you. Well, thank you very much. I'll see you next week, uh, Bonnie, here uh, for the training. Okay, and those All folks right. on the phone, we'll see you next week. All right, bye.
Bye for now. Bye. And folks, we do have a guarantee. Uh, if you're wondering, uh, since you're doing your due diligence on our company, you can even ask some of our licensees uh, to talk to some of our existing licensees. Just ask your ABS rep, and we'll put you in contact with people, and you can ask them about this guarantee. If the end of the training workshop, for any reason, you don't think this business is right for you, simply tell any staff member, and they will arrange for you to receive a full refund of your license fee. So, folks, we've been doing this for 19 years. We have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Uh, we couldn't be doing that if we were a scam or some kind of a company that's going to be here today and gone tomorrow. We're in this for the long haul. We know that this industry is going to be around for a long, long time to come, and we want you to be a part of it. So if you are not ready to come next week, we do these webinars every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Central Time. Be sure and be on every one of them that you can, and you'll learn us a little bit more each week about our business. Thanks again for being on here. Uh, I am so thankful that you took time to be out on the webinar today. And I hope I see you at one of our upcoming live trainings soon. Bye for now.